Okay, so with this new incarnation of Flat Out, we've managed to obviously aesthetically improve the product and we've got a plethora of new game modes. So aside from the 20 hours derived from the Flat Out career structure, which is your more serious gaming, serious driving aspect, we also have the five new game modes in single player. We've got two exclusive new modes and these are as diverse as all of the other modes that we've already had in Flat Out. You'll, you'll still see the stunts, the derby, and the racing aspect. So none of that has, has been removed. We've just added quite considerably to it. Um, online, as, again, we've added downloadable content support. Um, haven't actually finalized what we're going to do with it, but we actually have something which we think is quite impressive. And Beat the Bomb, with Beat the Bomb, as opposed to just racing with all of the other AI characters against other players, you just it's just you and a track and you have a bomb strapped to your back and you have to pass through checkpoints. Each of these checkpoints gives you more time, so essentially it's more of an arcadey game and it's a bit like speed I would guess I would say. It's a little bit like speed the movie. Um, another one of the new modes is the Carnage mode and Carnage mode it plays it's not just um, finishing in first position, it's also a combination of points and position. And the way you accumulate points is by smashing into other cars and smashing into the scenery. So it's how you win, not just um, winning. And so even though you finish in first place, for example, you might not necessarily win the actual race overall because you need to accumulate a certain amount of points. The challenge mode, there's 36 individual, individual challenges, uh, four are unlocked by default, and the way you unlock them is the non-linear way of unlocking things. Initially, you'll start with four unlocked, and there'll be four different types of game modes. So you'll have a stunt challenge, and you'll have a beat the bomb challenge, or a deathmatch derby challenge. And as opposed to completing every single individual challenge, you can choose to pick the challenges that you're particularly good at because the total score is what counts. So a certain amount of points results in um, certain of these certain challenges being unlocked. So you're not bogged down to just actually playing every single individual challenge because for some people they might get a little bit frustrated with that um, because they can't play a certain mode. So we didn't want to bog them down with that. We wanted to give them an opportunity to experience everything without having to play everything to the best of their ability. The career structure is for your more serious driving fanatics. So we have 30 cups split between three distinct types. So we've got the Derby class cars, we have the street and we have the race cars. So you start off with the weakest car, a slow car admittedly, but it can take a fair amount of damage and as you progress on through the races you accumulate more points and these points you can transmute to cash and the cash again you can purchase either upgrades for your cars or you can purchase new cars with which to race in and it's a semi-linear approach although each of the individual cups are linear there's um, you can chop, chop and change between the race classes as and when you need to so you're not necessarily stuck with the Derby class for the full duration of let's say 10 hours so you don't have to complete all of the Derby cups to actually go on to the, the better looking cars, the faster cars, so the, the race and the street cars. You can actually accumulate just enough points for, for unlocking those particular cars and then move on to them. As, with, um, as you would expect from a 360 game there's online unranked games and there's online ranked games and the unranked games you can structure your own tournaments so in the tournaments you can have a derby, you can have a race and you can have stunts there's also some exclusive online modes, one of the modes is head-on so as opposed to circling around in the same direction when you finish a lap at the end of a lap you turn around and face the opposite direction so you'll have seven cars oncoming so as you can imagine there's going to be a lot of carnage a lot of head-on collisions and really proliferate the whole carnage aspect so there'll be a lot of chicken scenarios who's going to move left who's going to move right or let's just head-on collision so you know that's really going to proliferate the carnage aspect of the game um, online in the unranked aspect you can structure your own tournaments as I mentioned so you can have a stunt so you might be the best racer but you might not necessarily be 
the best um, best at demolition derby. Um, again, with the Xbox rank system, it utilizes the true skill system. So, if you're number one in the world, you won't play the last player in the world. There's sort of a balance there. So there's a rubber banding of who you can and can't play. Uh, online you can play eight players and one of the big improvements we've made in Ultimate Carnage from Flat Out 2 is that you can play the stunt simultaneously. So when you structure your tournaments online you don't have to wait for people to finish their turn. You can see their ghost and you can either choose to follow their line or go your own line but that'll make everything a lot more snappy a lot quicker. At the moment we've got around 50 achievements and as you would expect these range from your relatively simple ones so that we can reward pretty much everybody to the more quirky, the more hardcore achievements. So one of the achievements we've got, though these aren't, aren't finalised yet, they're being finalised, is if you're second to last on the, sorry, if you're last on the second to last lap and you become first, you gain achievement through that. So as you can see, there's um, a broad range of achievements for you to unlock. So some really simple and some more difficult, more challenging that really reinforces you know the length of time that you spend on the game. Uh, well one of the things with Microsoft is that you can't take the easy route um, because there there is concept approval and they've specifically wanted certain things and for us ourselves we're not happy with just re-releasing the same game although this is the only version you'll be able to play on the 360 because Flat Out 2 you can't play on the 360, so this will be the first time anybody will experience this on the 360. We wanted to give them a more varied gameplay experience. We didn't want them to just have a ch relatively cheap product, you know, just as you said, a port. Technically you couldn't port the assets, everything had to be work reworked from scratch. And although we've got a whole range of new um, game modes, you'll notice that you know the cars may be familiar and some of the tracks will be familiar as well. So we didn't want to check it out and just do a port. We thought it'd be more rewarding for everyone involved, even for those who worked on the product, to actually have something you know, extra. And so we tried to add as much as we can within the time frames that we've got. Um, even for the actual development team, you know, they, they live racing games and bug better development team all they've done is racing games and that's what they enjoy so they didn't again they didn't want to do that themselves they didn't want to just have a graphical overhaul and that's it they wanted to give a gameplay experience that everybody will enjoy something for everybody something for new fans and something definitely for the older fans who are familiar who may have flat out too